Welcome back to Let's Play Metroid Zero Mission! I'm your host, Ultra Director Jester with the Mystical. And here we see the lower parts of Norfair. Places that we've already seen, plenty of lava, a lot of grabbable ledges, and a lot of people who are on fire. You know, Almost literally on fire. You know, if Samus gets too old to be a bounty hunter, like, you know, she gets in, like, her, her, mm. her 60s, 70s, or however long she lives, I'm sure she's, like, gonna live to be, like, 295 years old with her bird power. It, it's, it's the Chozo blood. Uh, she could be a, uh, a tour guide for Zeebs. Mm hmm Although, how many times has this planet exploded? Well, it's not the planet that explodes, it's just their base. Well, okay, that's a very good point. I could have sworn it was the planet that goes down in a big old ball of flames. Well, uh, you come back to this later, so... You know, you bring up a great point. <laughs> There's actually a real neat uh, moment where we actually go back into Torian after it's blown up. Ooh. That's really cool. That sounds cool. Yeah. So, uh... I was playing... Or, uh, not really so much playing. I was watching a, uh, this is the fucking high speed thing, isn't it? God damn it. I hate, mm -hmm. I, I hate this room. I hate this room because I gotta, like, go back over here, build a speed, and I gotta go back over here. Shoot, 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 shoot. And, and then right there, there. I, th this, this one level. All right, great. And then you have to do it again. No, of course. But I was watching a playthrough of the original NES Metroid, and I realized, man, this is a really flat looking game. Uh-huh. Here we need the super missiles. It's a, like it's mostly just a, a black background, and it's really difficult to see, you know, where you are. Really. Yeah, that, that's why I never went back and played it. I like this one just because it's more visually appealing. Yeah, the the the, the yeah. backgrounds here are great. It really paints a, a, a really interesting picture. It, it also works a little better. <laughs> oh, well, well, that too. It's just just a tad bit. You know, y years of hindsight and better technology. What? See, 86 was the first one, this is 2004, so what is that like? Oh, that's... hmm. Let's see... Four... Fourteen years? Twenty-four... No, that's not twenty-four. Yeah, ah, four, oh, no, fourteen... Oh, no. Fourteen years of expert development. Yeah. So, I've got a funny story. What do you got? I've been jumping back into uh, Amazon Prime Video. Uh-huh. Just seeing what shows they have in their in their own service. No, 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 oh, no. no. Oh, that. no. Uh, yeah, just checking out the catalog. You know, found Invincible, tried that out. That was an interesting time. And then I found out I that back, uh, Amazon has every season of House MD. <laughs> which is, you know, a show I really liked. So I started watching it, and I realized in one episode... House is playing Metroid Zero Mission. Yeah. On his GBA. And there's a lot of anachronisms about that. You know, it's just like, oh, I just got to level four. There, there is no real level four here, though. See, I started thinking about that, and that is one of those lovely Bad instances things. where you're allowed to use the game footage. That is okay in the copyright, but it cannot sound like it because they were using stock oh, sound effects. The, the, the sounds were all wrong. It's like, that's not Zero Mission. Pew, 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 pew. Uh oh, dear. This is, a, this is a bad time in the lava right now. Yeah, yeah, it is. But uh, what's funny is, uh, just, you know, continuing to binge watch the series, he also had a DS and was playing Metroid Pinball. He, he did? A pinball of all things? Yes, Metroid Pinball. Yeah, I don't think it was Me Metroid Prime... Uh, is it Metroid Prime Hunters is the other one on the DS? Yeah. I don't think it was that one. D and was if it, it, was, and if it, it was, I just don't know my Metroid. Was it Pinball? I mean, it looked like he was rolling around a lot, so... You roll around a lot in, in Prime Hunters is basically trying to put, you know, a Prime game onto the DS, and while it sounded cool in 2004, it, it was kind of, oh, this is, okay, I guess, in 2006, and now it's like, oh, wait, that was a game? Nowadays. Alright, check the wiki. I'm sure there's a House MD wiki, because there's a wiki on everything. I, I looked it up, actually. Oh, you did? I, oh, oh I, I looked up the House wiki, I didn't look up the... Oh, okay. It was looking for Zero Mission, though. <laughs> so you remembered that from all that time ago. I do remember that. I remember what happened to his DS. He gave it to, like, the severely autistic child who was, like, suffering and they couldn't figure out why. And then, and then I, I think he gave him the game or whatever, you know, it was like, like a rite of passage or something like that. I don't know. I, 
I'm actually intrigued by that show because it's Sherlock Holmes, MD, in a sense. I hate the people that uh, try and shape their personality and character around House. Like, it's not the point of him, you realize that, right? Uh, yeah, it's also, uh, I mean, he acts exactly like Sherlock Holmes was written. You know, kind of a... Druggy. A druggy, antisocial. Um, not the cleanest track record when it comes to figuring out what's wrong with people or what's wrong with the case. I mean, it makes sense. His best friend is named Wilson. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it makes perfect sense. Oh, now it's the, fucking... The, now, yeah, now it's fucking obvious. The, the parallels are amazing. Yeah, really. But, no, you shouldn't try to be the people-hating type, because then people will just hate you. Yeah, it, yeah, that's not... So, surprisingly, having a negative outlook on life begets negativity. That, that's probably my only gripe with House MD, other than it is a very formulaic 4TV show. Kind of like the Heath Ledger's, uh, Heath Ledger's Joker. Oh, yeah, just, just don't be an Edward. And by extension, uh, Joaquin Phoenix is Joker, too. <laughs> No, but uh, you, you can always tell commercial breaks coming up when all of a sudden, out of nowhere, the patient starts <laughs> flatlining. Like, okay, <laughs> all right, well, <laughs> it, it, it's true. here comes the commercial break. <laughs> and the thing is, it doesn't get old, at least for the most part. I've uh, blasted through season one, now I'm getting on to season two. And uh, almost like clockwork. <laughs> It's like, well, okay, I've, I've got a couple seconds to kill. Although Amazon uh, video doesn't have ads, so it just go cuts to black real quick and then comes up with the next part. <laughs> it's like, wow, that was a weird uh, 15 <laughs> minutes, wasn't it? <laughs> All right, let's see. Come on, man. There you go. This one's pretty complicated if it's the one I'm thinking of. What's the last good show you watched? <laughs> there is no good television. No! Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Last good, like show show? Yeah. Hmm. It's like a legit show that it came on, you're like, oh, give this a watch, and then you watched all of it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Look at the little flaming skull guys. The lost souls. This is a harder question than I thought it would be. I mean, it can even be like a rerun that you've watched it before and you decided, yeah, no, I'll watch that again. Because like the first anime I've been watching like a long time is City Hunter. And that's got its own sh uh, fair share of tropes, too. Like, I don't know, like... I like the Fear Street movies, but those were movies. That was like the most recent thing I've been watching. Hmm. Any comedic shows? Uh... Any no. Brooklyn Nine-Nine? I've been working on my own comedy, I don't have time to watch other people's. You've been screenwriting this entire time and you never told me? Oh, well, yeah, I wanted to surprise you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. What's the premise? Keep going. Keep going. Damn it. It's, it's gonna be maddening by the time we get to Super Metroid. The controls just never work for me. They just don't feel right. Well, having, having to press select, which, wait, select is down here on the Wii U pad. Uh, okay, now I gotta help press the R button and then fire. Which which one was fire again? Well, that was jump. Fuck. I mean, uh, wait, I gotta keep holding it. And oh, it's, it's a little... See, that's why I presented a new idea for Super Metroid when it comes around. I think it'll be interesting. I think it will, too. Right now, I'm just We're gonna be playing Super Metroid 1 Mind. <laughs> Have you seen those runs, by the way? Oh, I, I, I've seen a Mario World... Uh, Mario World 1 Mind. I want to try one of those. It's amazing! How coordinated are you and the other player? I, I think it's just gonna be a matter of, uh, just... play the game... and, uh, see how, uh, much your, your inputs sync up with the other guy. There are difficulty modes in Mario World 1 Mind. One of them is Insanity Difficulty, where it changes controls. All right, check this out. Ah, I see what you gotta do. Okay. Check it. Get this guy up here. That's far enough. Line up the shot. Line up the shot. Here he comes. Yes! There we go. We're not done yet. Oh, you're gonna do it again. Yeah, matter of fact, to save time, I'm just gonna... Just uh, do do one of these uh, fancy little things here. Yeah, one of these things here, you know, right, yeah. Better safe than sorry. And then right here. And... That, nope. That's not it. Let's try again. <sighs> I was saving up my first try speech and everything, and it just, it just didn't You work. have a speech? Well, I mean... Ah! Well... <laughs> you know, the more times I say first try, 
at one point it will be true. The other thing is you don't want to shoot too much, because you might destroy it. <laughs> Boy, the thing that's supposed to save time is not saving any time whatsoever. Rapid fire, pew 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 pew. Got him! And then I killed, <laughs> like I knew what would happen. I just gotta do it right. <laughs> oh, really? Right now. Damn it! Look at the bubbles in the lava. What a great sprite work there. So we can shoot up that and get through here. I could have got high speed, but that'd be too easy. Oh, great. Giant Spark! Right, I think I just. like that. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Easy. Nothing to it. And then straight into the lava. Still in the lava. Still in the lava. Fuck. <laughs> hey, I have to, to look at things while I'm looking at things. Yeah, gotta get back up. Are you saying you, you can't fathom Star Fox Zero? No, I couldn't. In fact, this is way more playable than Star Fox Zero. Because having to look at two different things, that's the that's a limitation I put upon myself. That's in true. Star Fox Zero, it's a requirement. Unfortunately. I'm wondering if I actually had time to truly focus ah. on the two things at once. If Star Fox Zero would be any more interesting. Or good. And I don't think so, because it's just a... A bad gimmick remake of Star Fox 64. Yeah, well, it's not even that fun. Even if you take away that, it's just not a, not a very fun game. I mean, at least they did the walker and the landmaster. Yeah. Yeah. I guess. I guess. Guess so. You have kind of a point, maybe. They did Star Fox fans a favor and smothered them in their sleep. But that was not a block I could destroy. It was already destroyed. You think we'll get a Star Fox on Switch? Um. Because Metroid Gut is getting a new one on Switch. There's always the possibility. It's impossible to predict what Nintendo's going to do. I mean... When Star Fox Zero came on, did you think that you'd be getting a Star Fox on the Wii? You? No. Nope. Let alone done by Platinum Games? Let alone shit? <laughs> I, I doubt. Honestly, I doubt it was Hideki Kamiya's call to make it like that. He didn't make that game, did he? Yeah, I remember uh, very vividly when it came out. He said, "Nintendo idiots, I love you." Sorry, that was the trailer. Is when he said that. It's either, it's either that or Nintendo idiots. Either way, he hates us all. I gotta get a really fun upgrade now. Japanese only. <gasps> the wave, the wave beam! beam. Now we can shoot through things. Yes, we can. Like a wave of electricity. And this is a perfect way to show it off, too. Well, let's get our health uh, back yes, here. Yes, oh, please. I, I don't like that empty E-tank. Or that uh, not maximum uh, missiles. It's just ugly looking. Ugh. Ooh, that was pretty. Just take your pot shots. Ah, yes. Too bad missiles can't shoot through walls. Outstanding. A little too easy. The missiles get an upgrade in fusion, though. I really like the upgrade they do there. I remember that. You can charge them! Ooh. Wow! It's so much power! I know! It's, it's incredible! <laughs> Your strong bad is showing. <laughs> oh, no! Missiles are incredible! You don't even know my strong bad! <laughs> That's truly the best strong bad that ever was! Ever! Yeah! Still! Come on! Don't you see you want to do the thing with me? Come on! Better than even the original Strong Bad actor. <laughs> Ooh, that's gross. Yeah, kill him with this. Oh. And now I gotta kill the thing that was blocking our way earlier. Do it like this. No, like that, huh? Fuck it up like that. Did you really- did you actually do anything to it? I- I, I tried to, oh, but, okay. uh, it, it- it was too fast. I tried a strat and it didn't work. You gotta... Basically, you have these. Oh. And that's how you do it. 
take a step back, sir. You're getting too close. Now, eat my bomb. Step back. Step back. Ah. Step back there. The timing's really shit because it, like, stays and then it roars and then charges. So you gotta time your bombs right. Maybe to turn the volume up? No, that's fine. Blip, 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 blip. There. You just gotta do that 200,000 more. Oh, okay. Just like that. Okay. Oh! Almost forgot. There's a missile down there. You missed the missile. Oh, an E-Tank! An E-Tank. Holy crap, we have max life! Yes, we do. Oh, I thought you were gonna say, but wait! There's more! It's a second row! It's a short game. Yeah, yeah. oh god damn it. <laughs> I hate this- this whole vertical room is just so shit! Go fast! Mm, go fast! There's gotta be some other way to, to- to maneuver around here. Game Shark? Well, that's- that's one way. But not the way I'm going for here. You know, I was asked on stream yesterday, what was your favorite game to play through with Action Replay? What a fun question. Persona 4 for sure. I mean, that made it easier. But uh, I said Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. Just walk into the first route's tall grass and all of a sudden I was met with God. This one's fun. Is this that spore spawn I keep hearing about? Something like that. Is this Mother Brain? Uh, no, it's, it is not Mother Brain. Uncle Brain, maybe. Great Uncle Brain. <laughs> Actually, it's called a Kinu Ginu. Ew. Sounds like foot medicine. <laughs> it sounds like a foot, uh, condition. <laughs> you have an acute case of a Kinu Ginu. Oh, no, doctor, please! 150 milligrams of Ativan stat. Ah, <laughs> oh, there we go. You gotta, you just gotta take two pills of Norfair every day. <laughs> Dr. Oran, you're finally here! And there he goes. Ew. Uncle Brain, that's kind of disgusting. And this ultimately takes us... Oh, uh, We're going to Ridley! We're going to Ridley. And he knows it too, he's almost there. <laughs> he's here! has landed. The pterodactyl has landed. This is the space pirate mothership. He brought he brought his boys here. Ridley just starts humming to himself, "Gonna kill the Samus." That's scary. I'm not going there. What? But we triggered the cutscene and everything. It's too scary. I'm, I'm leaving. I'm going. What back. the hell? Go back there and fight Ridley. I'm not going back there. We gotta go down here. No. Why? Because that thing burrowed. Ew! The Kinu... Oh! It hatched! What? I wonder what it is now. Uh, Ridley 2. You gotta kill these things, that's for sure. Super Ridley! Ew! How did I forget about this boss? I think it's, like, semi-optional. Oh. Well, that would be why. Optional bosses in a remake, what a great idea. I mean, the, the only upgrade you get is super missiles, which is no, not it's really required. Still, 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 ow. Yeah, yeah. Still something. Still, still, yeah. oh, I gotcha, I gotcha. You're getting faster. It's going fast. Uh, got him. He's gonna do a desperation move. And, and it's a desperation! <laughs> That's how we get the super missile tank. Uh, ordinarily, this is how you, like, originally get the super missile tank. But we broke it. But we broke it, and we get a couple of extra missiles in the process. Alright. So really, it's old hat. This doesn't really go too far. I mean, the entrance to Ridley is just kind of, you know, to the right. I think it's just that way. Oh, uh, you just cut to a different camera angle, and you see Ridley going down his own elevator. <laughs> all scrunched up. Why didn't I make this bigger? The music for this place is really foreboding. Is this the one with the, with the uh, chanting? There's a lot of chanting in this game. <laughs> I'm pretty sure what you're doing is wrong. That's Lower Norfair from Super Metroid, and this is a trap. 
is totally a trap. I have seen this in Super Metroid. If I don't do this right, there's like a real big backtrack, but if I yep. do it right... Nope, well... <laughs> I choked. That's what happened. Oh, I choked. Call me Darth Vader, because I choked. There. Nice. And now jump down there. No. Okay. Oh, shoot. A second row! There is a second row. You tricked me! I did trick you! You oh, got- ah! You got tricked did did Where are their face balls in here? This is where they live. I, no. I, I broke into their house. I'm sorry, guys. Hmm. Now that I hear face balls, I'm thinking of a spoof of a spoof. <laughs> Should there be, like, one comedy where it, like, sp just keeps spoofing itself? Just, you know, keep reaching for the bottom of the barrel and then find another barrel to go to the bottom of? It's like the Police Academy movies, but, like, Police Academy 2 is a spoof of Police Academy 1, and, like, Police Academy 2 is a... Er, Police Academy 3 is a spoof <laughs> of Police Academy 2. A Police Academy 4 is a... A self-spoofing franchise. Now there's an idea. <laughs> Just take the limitations of parody as far as they will go. Alright, here's a quick this. I think... Ow. Or am I thinking of something else? I think I am. Probably something else. Maybe I'm not. Okay, I am. Oh, there's something. There's a missile pack around here somewhere. There it is. I wonder where it is. That was the hardest one in the game. Missile pack, missile pack, missile pack, missile pack, missile pack! <laughs> I need them! I need to shoot things and blow them up! Give them all to me! You see her starts chewing on them. <laughs> now, now she's eating. Missile oh, pack! Oh, oh dear, oh dear. Missile pack! Well, I mean, she keeps losing him after every game, you know, I, th I think she's a bit attached. The missile she does have, she needs, she needs to, to keep track of forever. She just needs to get, like, an arm cannon like Boba Fett. <laughs> she has an arm cannon. Alright. I got nothing, smart guy. Where else are we going with this? <laughs> I don't know. Fine, a grappling hook. Oh wait, she has, she grapple has a grappling feet. hook. Damn it! I think she's also a better bounty hunter than Boba Fett because she's still alive. I don't know. I think she's pretty dead inside. Probably by now, yeah. Mixture of PTSD and motherhood. <laughs> AKA just motherhood. <laughs> Like, she didn't really express anything about being a mother ah. or anything. Nope, she was totally cool with it. She got her minivan, got her Metroid kids, took them to soccer practice. And then it died. Thanks, Mother ah! Rain. Well, that's distressing. Almost like motherhood. Oh, wait, that's not distressing. Missile pack! You're my only child! <laughs> Inside of her ship, you see, like, tons of seat belts and, and booster seats. Okay, Samus, I think we gotta talk about something here. Samus, I hate to tell you this, but missile packs are not children. Don't say that! They can hear you! You wouldn't know, you're not a mother. <laughs> no, but I am another M. Yeah. Yeah. How many missiles are in the game? A lot. All right, that's good enough for me. Like, uh, 50. And I do believe, if so, I'm looking at my map right, that one was 34. So there's 250 missiles. Essentially, yes. Math, All how right. does it work? Yep, that's it. Got to do this right. He did it right. And now... I gotta do it more right. He has done it wrong. <gasps> Damn it, I did it wrong! I did it wrong. Delp, time to backtrack. Yeah, I gotta backtrack in a lot of ways. Uh, just a second. Well, we we haven't seen this part of the map. No, so. no, we're gonna backtrack. See ya. Jesus! It's a party in there. Wait, wasn't there a missile pack in there? We're backtracking. Shut up! <laughs> it has to be done right. <laughs> it has to be done right. And we're gonna do it right. All right? Okay. We cannot stray from the plan! 
<laughs> Shouldn't we have taken a left back there at I-90? We stick to the plan. <laughs> I thought you used to live here. I know where we are. I don't need to stop and ask for directions. <laughs> Shut up! Nobody's here to give me directions anyway, because everyone's dead! Let's try that. Nope. Nope. Don't make me turn this planet around. Well, that's not good. I'd say reset the room. That's the other one I should have killed. I should have killed that one instead. And... They're both on the same Push you? Push you. Okay, pew pew. Nope. Can't you shoot downward? And... Oh, God fucking damn it! And... We are back again! Well, on the plus side, I'm getting my missiles back. I'm telling you, the guy at the gas station doesn't know how to get around town. There is no way we cross through this intersection and we're just there. Come on. Oh, yeah, just wait here. And then wait for that second one. There we go. And now you can use your morph ball. Go right in there. There you go. We had to get here because there are four upgrades here, and there's no way out. It's it's it's, it's just, an in, just an indent that has four upgrades. One super missile. Okay. Then and up here. Ooh! We've got a regular missile. <laughs> it's just there. And now it's time for a bit of pachinko fun. Mmm. Whoa! Oh, you weren't kidding about pachinko fun. So there's one. There's that. And then there's one right around here. Ah. And failure. See the point, right? I gotta try again. Like that, and got him. That went pretty smoothly. Is that it? Yes, that's it. That's, <laughs> it that's went it. pretty smoothly. Where are we? Well, getting there was was the guy at the gas station. I told you, he doesn't know what he's talking about. Turn back. All right, now we're ready. Don't make me turn this let's play around, young man. <laughs> I'll fly. I'll fly. I will. But I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> we'll stop at McDonald's later! I want a Happy Meal! <laughs> Shut up, Super Missile! <laughs> You're my least favorite kid. Just wait till you get supercharged. Then I'll like you. <laughs> oh, I door. Whoop. Yeah. Whoop. Yeah. Excuse me, Dr. Ridley Stein, we have your new assistant. Whoop. I door. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. All right, Ridley. All right, Ridley, come on, get to, to, where is he? Oh, he's not here, okay, well. Maybe if I hurry, I can get the, uh, unknown item first. thing before he gets back. Ooh, a new suit. Yeah, I know what it is. I know, where, I know what everything is. Uh, it's the, d oh, they're hinting at things you get in Super Metroid. This is the gravity suit. Ish. Ding. In big old quote fingers, gravity suit. Well, I, I, you know, I thought we'd have to fight Ridley. Well, I, I guess that's uh, one of the. And uh, hello, from the, Samus. Uh, the, 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 there he is. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's uh, super missile this punk. I was thinking if I tried to escape his room, we wouldn't have to fight him. Although I do love the fact that he comes in and says, "Get out of my room, Samus. <laughs> We're gone." And Stop he's dead. It. And he's dead. Seriously, that was the cause of all the pain and torment? Yeah, yeah, Simus gets PTSD whenever he sees this joke of a boss. He or she? Because I think at this point, Ridley has PTSD when seeing her. Yeah, I think that's it. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> this wench again?! You know, I just had clone surgery! I really don't want to have to do that again! <laughs> clone surgery... might be my new favorite thing. <laughs> okay. Doctor, is there anything you can do for me?! <laughs> well, I can give you... Clone surgery. Oh, really? How do you do that? Well, you operate on your clone. Uh, oh! But what about me? Uh, well, uh, you, you're dead, I'm afraid. <laughs> you've, you've got about 20 more seconds to live. What? Ah! 
<laughs> 19 straight seconds of exploding before he actually passed. <laughs> Another E-Tank! Oh my god. Yeah, we're good. Alright, uh, I'm assuming next stop, Turian. Yep. We, yes. uh, yep, we're heading for Turian next. We've cleared the way. Uh, there's just a... Maybe one or two things to get along the way. But we're gonna find a, that save room up in Brentstar, and uh, we're gonna... We're gonna get out of here. Like, out of here, out of here? Out of here, out of there. Like, peace? Like, peace out. Peace. There's a missile upgrade up here, though. Uh, of course there is. You know, I actually do love this type of level design, where the only reason you would want to get 100% is for completionist's sake, but the only reason they have this many collectibles is so you can ac almost accidentally find them. Oh, it's there. Okay. So he needs to fly. Let him fly. There we go. Yeah, I think that let, should be let enough. Him, yeah, okay. Let him fly. There we yep. go. Yep. And missile. Beep. Another child! I've never known children to come in five packs. <laughs> well, she has a lot of kids. Yeah, that's that's a lot of kids. Octo, her, Octo Mom, step down. Her, her parents had crazy traditionalist values. It's kind of kind of kind of toxic, really, really, really awful. What's what's the counting mechanic for 185 kids? That's one sinus. <laughs> That's a good unit of measurement, so as soon as we get all 250... <laughs> yeah, we got a Samus of kids. Excuse me, what? That was actually really cool. Uh, I... This is the way back, really. D oh, what? that's not good. Oh, that well, was good. It was good. Ridley? <laughs> Why isn't me? <laughs> Did you do this? Did you do this? Don't let me get the newspaper. All right. This is a really cool part. All right, I'm watching. Just gonna take this tube and run all the way. Ooh, I like this. Oh shit! <laughs> that's pretty awesome, my dude. That's right. That's right. This is where. It is. Oh, I thought it was transport. We shoot up through here, all the way through there, for another missile. Oh wait, no, it's another secret. Oh, now it's just for a missile. Oh, well, I can't get that right now. What? Why not? We're here for this. <gasps> the, the screw, screw attack! attack! <laughs> Rippinpeace.com. Nice! This is where you damage enemies while somersaulting. It's like the most OP power in the game. I can't remember. Does this game have space jump? You're getting ahead of yourself. I know I am. This is how you finally kill these things. Oh! Hey, there There's it is. Special blocks you can destroy too. Nice, nice. Still getting hit in the face. Nice, that's, nice. That's that's fine. That's fine. That's not what's important. <laughs> and Samus can take a few bruises. She's all right. All right. Let's make our way back to Brinstar. Back to Brinstar. Back to Brinstar. Oh God! Does the screw attack do anything to these guys? Yes, they do. It kills wow. them in one hit. That's how. That's how overpowered it is. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, because I thought so too. Is this the Zeeb sauna? I think so. It's like, mmm, I need to cleanse my robot pores. Yeah, I bet I bet it was, you know, a, a lot cooler when Samus was here. Then global warming happened and then you come back and oh it's it's unbearable now. I thought oh. you were meaning cooler like as in, you know, you put on the cool shades. Yeah, it looks and now cool. only lame people are here. Uh -huh. That's why you're here, Ridley! Uh, yeah! Oh you're dead. Oh well. <laughs> Samus's new mission is to destroy all the uncool people <laughs> here on Planet Zeeps. If you don't have a backwards ball cap and sunglasses, you're officially not cool. Oh, that's nice. That's a good shortcut. That is a good shortcut. So now we don't have to shine spark everywhere. Go up one more. Do it. Oh, do we oh, do it again? Wait, wait, hang on. Nope. Do we do ah! it? Oh, wait, no. Do we do oh, oh, no, no. Do we do Wait, it's it's somewhere else. Do we do it's it again? Here. Hey, right. There we go. Uh, 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 well, well, now we can't uh, get in. I mean, but, uh, uh, right, all right, okay. <laughs> a B, a B, a B, that, that's Brinstar, folks. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Coolest bounty hunter in the land. Kills uncool people and has a stutter like Porky Pig. So hot, Nintendo. That's a see ya, that's a see ya, a see ya next mission, folks. <laughs> Da 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 da
Then Ridley died, then Cray died, and goodbye space pirates! <laughs> then Ridley died and Cray died too, and everybody died in a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I think the jingle I got was Kraft Macaroni and Cheese from back in the early 90s. <laughs> Oops. Cheese and macaroni! New Kraft Metroid! Cheese and macaroni! <laughs> <laughs> I would totally eat that mac and cheese, are you kidding me? Wow, well, it's I, I I I think that's Samus and wait is that Crater Ridley and uh wait is that Adam Malkovich? Why is he? Here? It's a screw attack! And then the kid just starts like spinning away, destroying his parents and all of his school bullies. Samus, I authorize you to use cheese, milk, and butter, mm. but under no circumstances are you to use cayenne <laughs> pepper. <laughs> it's too dangerous for this mission, Samus. Adam Malkovich, cheese and macaroni. <laughs> Just him? <laughs> so I tried to get some, it was all sold out. Samus bought all the boxes. <laughs> well, next it, time on Metroid Zero Mission, we're destroying Mother Brain! Woo! It has little missiles in the mac and cheese, <laughs> and she starts collecting them one by one. Missile cheese and macaroni! Well, what kind of person are we painting Samus out to be? I think she's a psychopath <laughs> by this point. But I, I think so. See you next time.